Hello, Liberty Church. Pastor Art here. I want to share with you today some of God's Word to be able to encourage us for the Christmas season that we're coming into. Um, I know this is a time of year that, that we get busy. And in our busyness, sometimes we, we get a little stressed out with all the uh, shopping and the parties and the dinners and the wrapping of presents and all the things that we seem to have to do during this Christmas time. I want to encourage you today uh, to take time to look at God's Word, to meditate on God's Word, and let God's Word speak to you and take some of that busyness that you have in your life and let God calm it down. And there's a few passages that I'd really like to share with you today. Uh, being the Christmas season, this is a time of giving. And we know that God has given us the greatest gift in his son. And that's salvation through his son. And today I just want to encourage you with a few passages of scripture that you can take upon yourself and let God speak to your heart and let God calm you down and give you the joy of Christmas. First, I'd like to start with Isaiah chapter nine. And I'm looking at, uh, if you would, if you have a Bible, open your Bible up. Uh, Isaiah chapter nine, verse number six. And it says uh, in the word, it says, for a child will be born to us, a son will be given. And that son that is given, we know is God's gift to us and the government will rest on his shoulders and his name will be called wonderful counselor mighty god eternal father and lastly prince of peace and that's the gift that god has for us today is a piece of christmas and that's found in his son jesus christ the gift that he gave us uh, god has given us peace for christmas so turn to john 14 verse 27 I'd like to continue in John 14:27 And the word of God says here that in this gift um, let me find it peace I leave with you my peace I give to you not as the world do not let your heart be troubled nor let it be fearful in this gift that God has given us, this gift of peace, we know as his son, we know we call that peace his son also the gospel. He has given us the gospel. He is peace. He is the peace. And he is the peace that you and I need at Christmas. So we see that, that God has given us that peace. Uh, either That word peace is an interesting word in both the peace that we read in Isaiah uh, chapter 9 and in the New Testament here in John, that word peace really means a calming uh, force that's coming into your life. It means it, that it's really a blessed divine time in your life. It's a time where God's presence comes into you. And it's something that we don't fully understand how it works, but it does. And it's through having Jesus Christ in your life and having the Holy Spirit come upon you in time of those times of difficulty, those times of frustration, those times of anxiety. We need God's peace. And sometimes we don't fully understand that. And there's another passage of scripture that I, I will follow up on that explains that just a little bit. And yet that's, that's found in Philippians 4, 7. If you could turn to, in your Bibles now to Philippians 4, 7, I'd like to read that for you. And again, it's about this peace. It's about Jesus. He is the peace. And it says, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding. We've heard this verse, it's a very common verse, but it passes all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. The key to this verse is being in Christ Jesus. And by being in Jesus, we have all the power of God in us. We have all the ability that we don't fully understand as this passage uh, indicates to us. 
We don't understand God's presence. We don't understand his ability to take our life that's in turmoil and busy and, and not focused on him and be able to give us the calmness in our spirit. That's the peace of God that only comes in Christ. Uh, and, and I just want to encourage you to meditate on that thought. It's a wonderful gift that God has given us. And that gift is Jesus, the Prince of Peace. And we know that as the gospel. Uh, the gospel transforms our minds and our hearts, just like this verse says, that the Holy Spirit, that the peace of God guards our minds and guards our hearts so that we don't have to be influenced by the world and its system and trying to take the joy out of Christmas. It's a wonderful gift that God has given us. So my hope for you is that, that you'll receive God's gift this Christmas, that gift of peace, that gift of Jesus Christ, that gift of salvation. May you have a wonderful week this week, and as you prepare for the Christmas event, may your hearts be guarded, may your minds be guarded by the Holy Spirit, the Prince of Peace. Thank you.